going on everybody john and Pamri here with dfs alarm bringing you our week nine contrarian corner video gonna give you some low owned plays to put in those gpp lineups Let's kick it off at the quarterback position. We're going to go back to Joe Burrow here. Just kind of old faithful uh, for me this season in my DFS lineups here. And I think he's going to go rather overlooked given the matchups of guys like Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, and even the value plays looking at someone like Tua and Jordan Love today. Uh, but Burrow has himself a great matchup here. The Browns are 25th in DVOA against the pass, but they're actually pretty staunchy against the run. Uh, I think Burrow's going to be throwing a lot, and of course he has those great weapons. Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's load up some Joe Burrow and sit back and enjoy probably another really strong fantasy performance this week. At the running back position, I actually want to go opposite of Burrow on that matchup. Let's take a look at Nick Chubb. I know everybody who played Chubb last week uh, was very disappointed to see Dearness Johnson get the touchdown. But I'm going to think we're going to see a lot of volume here out of Nick Chubb. We know the controversy from this past week with Odell Beckham Jr. being released. I think the Browns rely heavily on the run here. And a little bit of upside here possibly in the passing game. Cincinnati has allowed the most receptions to running backs in football this season. We know Nick Chubb can catch football. We saw it happen before Kareem Hunt was part of the team. Hunt's out. I know Dearness Johnson's still a little bit in the mix here, but I think we can see some more passing going to Nick Chubb in this game. I like him a lot in that mid-tier, and again, a spot where I think he's going to go rather overlooked. At the wide receiver position, a little bit of value. Miko Hardman. Uh, I know everybody looks at Travis Kelsey and Tyree Kill in this matchup, uh, but we are looking at some decent production snap counts here out of Hardman, uh, getting a lot of shares, running a lot of routes, and over the last four games, averaging almost 11 fantasy points there. Uh, this is a game total where it has a 49 total in it. Uh, I think he could go a little bit overlooked. If you're looking for a value play, maybe a dark throw for those lineups, let's take a look at Hardman, see if he can find the end zone. Mahomes has to snap out of it eventually. Uh, and we'll finish it off at the tight end position. He is my number one tight end going into this week. I saw the matchup here against Houston. Locked in Mike Kosicki. Got even better when Devontae Parker got ruled out and placed on IR. We know Tua loves throwing to Kosicki and the Texans are among the worst teams in football to Defending the tight end position. A lot of people are going to be looking at Waller today after the Ruggs news. They're going to be looking to spend down with Albert O with Noah Fant ruled out. I think Dallas Goddard could be a popular option this week as well. Why not go with Gasicki? He's been fantastic this season. Right in that mid-tier. Let's roll it out against a very bad Texans team. That wraps up everybody's contrarian corner. Good luck. Let's go make some money.